Hi, I thought I'd take a minute to introduce myself. My name is Ryan Tully Doyle, and I'm going to be your professor in Math 142 in the fall quarter. I thought that if I took a minute to put a face to the name that you see on the Canvas page before we get into the class itself, it might help alleviate some of the concerns you have about the way this course is going to go. I'd also like to introduce something of how the material for this course is going to be delivered what you're going to have available to you, and some ideas about how we can communicate with each other over the course of the quarter so that you don't feel cut off in what is very easily perceived to be a cut off environment. So this course is going to be asynchronous, which means that the material for the course is going to be delivered like this. I'm going to be sitting here in my office. Occasionally you might hear a cat yowling because like pretty much everyone else, I am subject to the vagaries of my environment. So if you do hear a cat, I apologize for that. When I prepare content for the class, it's going to be like this. Professor talking in front of a chalkboard, but the chalkboard will be a PowerPoint that I'm writing over the top of the video. Now, I think it's important that you see my face when I do this because to me, there is nothing less compelling than watching a dull voice talk over the top of a PowerPoint slide. So I'm gonna to try to be in the videos that I'm making because I think it makes them more engaging. And I want this class to be a conversation, even if we don't get to share the same physical space with each other. When I need to write mathematics, it will essentially look like this. So this is what mathematics will look like when I'm writing it. If I need to write more on the screen while I'm talking, I will. And you'll see much mathematics presented this way. Mathematics can be written in real time on the screen like this. This gives me the ability to point to things. I can say, oh, well, just like the derivative here of e to the x is e to the x, then that means the integral of e to the x is e to the x plus c, because this is a derivative antiderivative relationship where I can point to the things that I'm writing. If I'm in the way, I can get out of the way. That will let me present material on the class in sort of an uncluttered way, but I'm still down here. Uh, it might seem kind of cheesy, but again, I think that the big thing that you're missing when you're learning online is the idea that there's a person on the other end of this creating the content that you're learning. So generally, this is the way that the class is going to look in terms of the mathematical content. In fact, I have the same tools available for office hours. And unlike the material for the class, which is asynchronous, office hours will be synchronous. That is, we will be talking in real time. Office hours are something that uh, I strongly encourage you to participate in. So I'll have scheduled times where students can drop in and ask questions or just hang out and listen to the questions that other students have. It's a place where we can work through examples together, where I can find out if there's things I need to make additional videos on. It's very important to me that our relationship isn't one directional. I don't want to just be the source of information, pushing videos out to you guys and grading work that comes out the other side. I want this to be a two-way communication. If you have questions, we should talk. The results of any conversations that we have are going to be stored in the PowerPoint slides that I'm generating when I do this. So all this content that you see on the screen is actually written down in a PowerPoint, which means that when you have a lecture from me, you'll have the PowerPoint that I'm going to write in hand so you can annotate it as we go. When I answer questions in office hours, anything that we do in office hours will be posted later as, so that other students can look at what happened in office hours if they couldn't make that particular, if they couldn't make that particular meeting. The last thing I want to say is that I've thought very hard about how to make this course engaging. I think my job as a teacher is to participate in a conversation. And I'm not going to know how to respond to what's going on in the class unless I hear from you. So please, reach out, email. There'll be discussion boards in the Canvas page. There'll be opportunities to come to office hours. And I would love to be able to work as much in real time as possible around grappling with the content of the course. OK, so I hope you guys enjoy the next 10 days before courses start. And I'm looking forward to kicking off a strong year with you in a way that hopefully can simulate the best of what happens in a classroom and take advantage of things that you can only do in an online environment. All right, so talk to you guys later.